The universe is an infinite fractal composed of countless big bangs, each sparking the creation of new realms. If you were to consult a science textbook published before 2006, you'd find Pluto listed as one of the nine planets in our solar system. However, that's no longer the case. Nearly 17 years ago, the International Astronomical Union, IAU, controversially stripped Pluto of its planetary status, sparking a debate that continues today. Yet, the conversation is far from over. NASA has recently released some of the clearest images of Pluto ever captured, reigniting interest in the small, icy world. Each advancement in technology takes us further in our quest to explore space, and we've come a long way since Apollo 11's historic moon landing. Yet, the vastness of space means that many questions remain unanswered. This is where NASA's groundbreaking projects, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, come into play. While JWST seeks to uncover its own mysteries, it also builds upon NASA's earlier missions, creating a rich tapestry of discovery. One of the biggest questions still haunting the scientific community is whether our current understanding of the universe, especially events like the Big Bang, needs to be reevaluated in light of new discoveries. Pluto once again finds itself at the center of this debate. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, we've been able to dive deeper into our solar system, and it's become clear that textbooks may soon need revision. Pluto, once demoted to a dwarf planet, could potentially regain its planetary status. The IAU's 2006 decision was made with limited data, but the JWST has now provided the pictorial evidence that could change everything. For years, two camps of thought have emerged. One believes the IAU was too quick to demote Pluto, while the other accepted its new status. As space exploration progresses, however, the debate over Pluto's classification continues to simmer, with the JWST discoveries pushing it back into the spotlight. NASA's first clear images of Pluto, captured during the New Horizons mission, are rewriting our understanding of this distant world. In July 2015, New Horizons flew by Pluto and its moons, marking the first time humanity had ever seen this distant celestial body up close. The data collected was groundbreaking, revealing details about Pluto's surface and its moons, including its largest satellite, Charon. This mission paved the way for a deeper understanding of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, the distant region of our solar system where the dwarf planet resides. New Horizons provided NASA with 6.25 gigabytes of data, including stunning images of Pluto's surface, its satellites, and its geological features. What it uncovered was nothing short of revolutionary. Pluto may no longer be classified as a planet, but it is far from dormant. Over time, its surface and atmospheric conditions have evolved, presenting a challenge for scientists who now must revive their models to account for these changes. The mission's success has laid the groundwork for future explorations of distant celestial bodies, and with the arrival of the James Webb Space Telescope, the possibilities seem endless. One of the most significant revelations from New Horizons was the discovery that Pluto has a heart, quite literally. Known as Sputnik Planitia, this massive nitrogen glacier covers a million square miles and drives much of Pluto's geological activity. The heart-shaped region is responsible for the reorientation of Pluto's spin axis in a process known as true polar wander. Prior to the mission, scientists had no idea that Pluto's basin was opposite its largest moon, Charon. This reorientation has changed how we understand the dwarf planet's interaction with its satellites, demonstrating the immense gravitational influence these bodies exert on one another. But that's not all. Beneath Pluto's icy surface lies something even more extraordinary, a vast ocean. This hidden ocean, combined with Sputnik Planitia's immense mass, is responsible for the reorientation of the dwarf planet. The discovery of liquid water on Pluto changes everything we thought we knew about this distant world and raises new questions about its potential to harbor life. While it may be too soon to determine whether Pluto's ocean is habitable, this discovery places it among other ocean worlds like Titan, Enceladus, and Europa, all of which are thought to have the potential to support life. The discoveries on Pluto are just the beginning of what could be a new era in planetary science. With the James Webb Space Telescope now in full swing, scientists are gaining access to unprecedented data, which will undoubtedly continue to challenge our understanding of the universe. 
What makes JWST particularly exciting is its ability to look farther and deeper into space than ever before, opening the possibility of discovering new planetary systems, stars, and galaxies that may have gone unnoticed with previous technologies. The telescope is poised to provide even more insights into Pluto, but also into the farthest reaches of our own solar system and beyond. Pluto's reclassification in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union as a dwarf planet has been one of the most hotly debated topics in astronomy. Many have argued that the decision was made prematurely with limited data and outdated criteria. Now, with NASA's recent breakthroughs, including high-definition images and a wealth of new data, those advocating for Pluto's reinstatement as a planet may finally have the evidence they need. Some scientists have even suggested that the definition of what constitutes a planet should be revisited, as our understanding of celestial bodies has evolved significantly in the past few decades. One of the most compelling aspects of this ongoing debate is the role that public perception plays in scientific classification. Pluto holds a special place in the hearts of many space enthusiasts and casual stargazers alike. Its demotion in 2006 felt like a personal loss to those who had grown up learning about the nine planets of the solar system. But science is ever evolving, and what we learn today may reshape the lessons of tomorrow. If Pluto were to regain its planetary status, it would symbolize not just a scientific victory, but also the capacity for humanity to rethink, reframe, and revise its understanding of the cosmos. Beyond the emotional and philosophical implications, the recent findings about Pluto have practical consequences for planetary science. As New Horizons and JWST continue to provide new data, scientists are better equipped to study the geology, atmosphere, and potential habitability of not only Pluto but other celestial bodies as well. The notion that Pluto may have a subsurface ocean, for example, puts it in a new category of worlds that could hold clues to the possibility of extraterrestrial life. If water exists beneath Pluto's surface, what else might it be hiding? Could there be other processes at work that we have yet to discover? The answers to these questions could have far-reaching implications for our understanding of the solar system. The discovery of a subsurface ocean on Pluto also forces us to reconsider the role that icy worlds play in our search for life. Previously, the focus of astrobiological research has been on planets and moons that are closer to the sun, where liquid water can exist on the surface. However, with each new mission, it becomes increasingly clear that life, if it exists elsewhere in the solar system, may thrive in environments that we once thought were too harsh or too remote. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, has been a prime candidate for such investigations. And now Pluto may join the ranks of these intriguing, potentially life-bearing worlds. As exciting as these discoveries are, they also highlight the limitations of our current technology. While the data gathered by New Horizons and JWST is revolutionary, much of the information about Pluto and other distant objects remains incomplete. To gain a fuller understanding, future missions will need to go even farther, probe even deeper, and collect more detailed data. This means that investment in space exploration must continue to grow, ensuring that we have the tools necessary to answer the questions that missions like New Horizons and JWST have raised. One of the most challenging aspects of space exploration, especially when it comes to distant objects like Pluto, is resource allocation. Why invest millions or billions of dollars in studying a small, icy world at the edge of the solar system when there are more immediate concerns, such as finding planets that may harbor life closer to home? This is a question that space agencies like NASA must grapple with as they plan their future missions. However, as the New Horizons mission has shown, exploring these remote worlds can yield unexpected and invaluable discoveries. The data gathered from Pluto may ultimately inform our understanding of the entire Kuiper Belt, a region that remains one of the least understood areas of the solar system. The search for life beyond Earth has long been a driving force behind NASA's missions. With the discovery of phosphorus in Enceladus's ocean, the possibility of extraterrestrial life has become more plausible. Phosphorus, a key building block of DNA and RNA, is essential for life as we know it. While there is still no conclusive evidence that Pluto's ocean could support life, the presence of water opens the door to further exploration. As we continue to probe the outer reaches of our solar system, 
Missions like New Horizons and JWST are reshaping our understanding of distant worlds. The data collected so far has already forced scientists to reconsider long-held beliefs about Pluto and the other small bodies that inhabit the Kuiper Belt. While the debate over Pluto's planetary status may continue, one thing is certain. The dwarf planet is far more active and complex than we ever imagined, and its story is far from over. Pluto continues to surprise us in ways we never expected. While NASA isn't actively sampling the ice-encased planets just yet, Pluto is delivering incredible discoveries that challenge what we know about distant planets. One of the most groundbreaking revelations is Pluto's very own form of volcanic activity. Let's break this down. Pluto, a planet that was demoted in status, not only has a heart that reorients its spin axis and potentially an ocean beneath its crust, but it is also volcanically active. This has led a significant faction of scientists to fiercely criticize the International Astronomical Union for stripping Pluto of its planetary status. But that's a debate for another day. Right now, let's focus on the volcanic activity of this icy world. When we think of volcanoes, we usually picture red-hot lava erupting from a mountain like the molten flows from Hawaiian volcanoes, which can reach temperatures as high as 1,250 degrees Celsius, 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. But Pluto's volcanoes couldn't be more different. Thanks to NASA's high-resolution imagery, we've learned that Pluto has its own unique type of volcanic activity called cryovolcanism, where instead of molten rock, cold, slushy ice erupts from the planet's surface. This cryolava, near freezing in temperature, pours across the surface before solidifying, creating new and unique geological features. Pluto's iconic heart-shaped region, known as Sputnik Planitia, also plays a central role in this volcanic mystery. In the southern part of this region lie two towering mountains, WMS and Peard Mons, which scientists now believe are the mouths of cryovolcanoes. But that's not all. NASA's research also uncovered evidence of ice volcanoes in Pluto's western region, Viking Terra. This area shows deep fractures and grabens that could only have been formed by the movement of ice-cold lava. These discoveries have led to significant shifts in our understanding of the dwarf planet's geological activity. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, has also been the subject of incredible revelations. Once considered less important than other moons like Saturn's Enceladus or Uranus's Miranda, Charon has now emerged as a key object of interest. The moon's surface displays two drastically different terrains, Vulcan Planitia, a smooth plain in the south, and Ostera, a rugged terrain in the north. These contrasting landscapes suggest that Charon II may have an ocean beneath its icy crust, offering yet another target for future exploration. But it doesn't stop there. NASA's high-resolution imagery has also revealed something unexpected. Pluto has dunes. Yes, you heard that right, dunes. Unlike Earth's sand dunes, Pluto's are composed of methane-infused ice shavings that have been eroded from the Sputnik Glacier. Despite the planet's weak gravity, thin atmosphere, and frozen surface, these dunes are scattered across its icy plains. As we stand on the cusp of new discoveries with the James Webb Space Telescope, it's clear that Pluto's status as a dormant world is a thing of the past. The data we have collected, just a few gigabytes, has opened a door to endless possibilities, giving us a clearer picture of this fascinating, distant world as we venture deeper into the mysteries of our solar system. The role of smaller, icy bodies like Pluto and its moons takes on increasing significance. These worlds, often overlooked in the past, are now at the forefront of planetary science. The discovery of geological processes such as cryovolcanism on Pluto is reshaping our understanding of what constitutes a habitable environment not just in terms of the presence of water, but also the types of energy sources that might exist in such remote locations. The idea that ice volcanism could occur on Pluto suggests a level of internal heat, potentially from tidal forces exerted by its moons or radioactive decay within its core. This opens new avenues for exploring how planets and moons far from the sun might sustain complex processes similar to those on Earth. Furthermore, Pluto's active geology challenges long-held assumptions about the longevity of planetary bodies in the outer reaches of the solar system. The relatively young, active surface of Pluto, combined with the potential for an ocean beneath its icy crust, indicates that these distant worlds may be far more dynamic than previously thought. 
the possibility of ongoing geological activity in places like the Kuiper Belt forces scientists to reconsider the fate of other icy objects out there, many of which may harbor hidden oceans or volcanic activity of their own. The discovery of Pluto's complex atmosphere, including signs of seasonal changes, further complicates our understanding of how such distant objects can remain so active. With future missions focusing on even more distant Kuiper Belt objects, the question of Pluto's place in our solar system remains a topic of ongoing debate. Yet, with the ever-evolving technological capabilities of spacecraft like the JWST, we are closer than ever to answering the questions about Pluto's true nature and the potential for life elsewhere. The more we discover about Pluto and its companions, the more we realize how much we have yet to learn about the outer solar system and the universe at large. Exploring these worlds may ultimately help us understand the fundamental conditions that make a planet or moon capable of sustaining life, whether in our own solar system or beyond.